we've got our PPE bags which contain um, everything that we need, everything you need is in there. So there's two pairs of gloves, an apron, a gown and a mask with a visor. The visor is important so get a mask with a visor if you're going to examine someone that you're worried about. And then your second orange bag and a wire tie for the top of it. Um, so I'm going to play the role of the doctor, Sarah's going to be my buddy and we've got a patient that we spoke to on the phone earlier, got the history off and we've asked them to present via the side door and we'll give them a call when we want to bring them in. Um, and that will be the buddy's job to go outside in their semi-PPE, uh, hold the door open for the patient and let them come in without letting them touch anything and just sit in the chair, get your examination done, which we'll run through in a second. So Sarah is a buddy, you're going to wear PPE, which is an apron, gloves and a mask. And then I'm going to wear something slightly deviated from the PHE PPE based on the fact we've got to clean the room um, and just enhance our protection as best we can. So the way I'd do it is I'd put one pair of gloves on first, having washed my hands, sleeves up. Okay. So that's my first pair of gloves. And then got my gown pack, which as we learned from doing it the other day, we're not going to tie too tightly in the back because ripping them off, they're quite fragile. So just a loose bow on the back, covering your wrists and the gloves. Yeah, I'll just do it really loose. <clears throat> okay, so that's as good as these are gonna get. Um, apron. And you are tired. Oh, there is a way of tying them. Right, yeah, they used to... Yeah, sorry, but there's not... If it's loose, you can tie it, so it hooks around. Them. Yeah. And then... So, visor on the outside. You can get your buddy to do this if you want. Do your tying stuff for you if you're not comfortable doing it. Okay. Okay. So this is your tricky part. Second pair of gloves on over the top. Is that the right way? Yeah. Hey, so we're all good to go. Um, this is always our green clean zone. The, the other podiatry room is the red zone. And your buddy should never enter the red zone. They should always use the side, side door because they're always clean until the very end. So get your second bag and wire tie. I'm going to go through here, leave them in there with an alka gel dispenser. And then your buddy's going to go in and let the patient in. So I'll let you follow Sarah to do that part. I do around the side. And then... That door should be closed. Yeah. We've got a mask for the patient. Patient mask. Wait for the door. Go through the next door, turn immediately right and run into the door. It's open and the doctor will see you in there. And try not to touch anything on your way in. Good morning. Good morning. 
take a seat in the chair there, thank you very much. So at this point I'd confirm the patient's name, date of birth, identity, check you're happy, and then the box here's got all the kit in, so we're good to go, so I might have a listen to your chest or anything anything that you've deemed that you need to do. Um, at which point when you're done, um, so thank you very much for coming. What I'm go what's going to happen now is I'm going to ask you to leave the same way that you came in without touching anything. Um, my buddy Sarah is going to let guide you out. Keep your mask on the whole time. Don't take it off until you get in your car, until you get home, and we'll phone you with the plan when, when you're home or when you're back in your car, okay? Um, so that's fine. I'll let Sarah go around and open the door for you, and then you can make your, make your, own, way, make your own way out, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so Sarah's going to go back round the outside into the green zone now and then it's going to help me uh, doff and clean the room, okay? So initially I just need the hand Purell gel, uh, which is just I put with the orange bag round there. Um, so you're going to clean your dirty outside gloves first, so without touching, good. So you're going to do your A-lift technique that we obviously all remember. Um, So done, and then you're gonna take your first pair of gloves off, okay, and drop them into your bin, only touching the rim. Okay, and then still in your PPE. The patient's not touched the door or anything, they've only touched this, so you're gonna give this a good wipe down, better than I'm doing now, but that's that, okay. So that's all clean. And then any kit that you've used, go through the same process, SATS probe step, back into the box, okay? So they also go into your dirty waste and are now going to go through the doctor procedure, okay? So at this point, I can, you can clean your hands as many times as you want through the procedure. That's what we were doing when we were in the unit. Again, a lift technique. And then remember your apron's dirty, so you want to try and remove it and roll it into a ball so the dirty stuff's in the middle. Again, just trying to decrease contamination. This may well rip, but we want to then remove this from the forward. Again, rolling it like that. Maintaining your gloves on, which shouldn't come off because you put them on first. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is clean my hands again. Last step before you take your mask off. And then you're doing this all facing down. You can put them in if you want. Not touching the front at all. And dropping into the bin. That's me done. Wash my hands again, okay? And then that's my part done. I'm going to step back through into the clean zone now. And then you're going to... Sarah's going to do the uh, part... There's my buddy. So the bin line is around the outside of the yellow thing just to make it easier to remove. We're going to tie a knot in the first bag with your buddy wearing their PPE, two pairs of gloves, and drop it into an open second bag with the insides rolled out so that you can touch the insides and not contaminate them. Remove your gloves, and then you might want to roll the, just make it a bit more easy to use by touching the inside, roll it round. Okay, and then you're going to remove your PPE of the buddy. So apron, then gloves, then mask. Excellent, and then mask standing over it. Spot on, and 
now you're only going to touch the outsides of the bag. The one that wants to contaminate yourself, decreasing your risk. Then we're going to wire tie that bag. And we're going to walk it all the way out the same way that the patient came in and dispose of it in the yellow bins, which uh, someone's got the key for in the main office. So will that be um, okay. it be open? It'll be open, yeah. We'll make sure make sure it's open before you come in. So it's... And that's it. That's done.